So if we reset the shot, you can see it's very sharp from the iPhone's camera. It looks kind of gritty. There's not a ton of contrast going on. So we're going to start with the background layer and we are going to enable black and white. So here I can bring the reds down or I can bring the reds up. I'm going to bring them up a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my levels tool in the exposure, bring this down, and you can see we have a little bit more contrast already. I'll also use the contrast slider, and already we went from this shot to this shot. I think that looks much better. Now I'm going to bring the clarity down again to bring a little less detail on my skin, give it more of a dreamy type story, and then we're going to create a layer mask on my eyes. So go to empty layer, call this one eyes, and by pressing the B key, and M, I can see the mask on my eyes. I'm going to do a tiny mask on the eyebrow on the other side. And now I can control the brightness. So we're going to make it a little bit brighter. And you can see this is a really harsh edge right here. So what I'm going to do is right click, hit feather mask and display mask. And now you can see instead of this harsh line, it is simply going to feather it and make it nice and soft for us. So there we go. We have our mask that's way too bright. So I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Just a tad is what I want to brighten it, and I want to bring more clarity. Awesome. So the eye already looks better. And then what I'm going to do is add more shape again to the egg and to my face, and we'll call it done. I'm going to grab a new layer, call this burn. We're not going to dodge it all in this image. Grab my mask, and I'm going to simply brush along my jawline. So you can see I'm going to create a jawline here. And then we're going to take the exposure, bring it down. And again, I'm going to feather this. I brought it way too far down so that I can see my feathering mask. So I'm going to feather it nice and light there. And now we can control that just a little stop. And you can see that adds more definition and clarity to my jawline. If I want to, I could add this on my neck right here for the collarbone and even back there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the side of the egg. So we're going to do one pass two pass, three passes on the egg. And now you can see we have a little bit more shape in both my face and the egg. Looks pretty good. And if we wanted, we can even continue this up here. And I think that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring down my flow and go right there on the side. And now you can see we have more detail and it really pops. Last thing I'm going to do is get rid of this white spot on the shirt. So I'm just going to click right there with our spot removal tool. And we're basically done. Last step, take the crop and do 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is widescreen. That is the aspect ratio of movies you see on TV and in theaters and YouTube videos. Almost every film, some are 1610, various other aspects. But I'm going to hit H, hit F for full screen. And there is our final image. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like below. I'll see you in the next video. And let me know what tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. Let's add a little bit more contrast and bring the exposure down. There we go. Done.